The results are in, mostly. Tonight, Oklahoma's votes for some of the biggest races and issues becoming clear. Let's start at the top. Governor Kevin Stitt cruising tonight to a primary win over his GOP challengers. The governor at 69% of the vote, the AP calling this race very early for the governor, who now moves on to November and a chance at re-election. Thanks so much for tuning in to our primary election coverage here tonight on KOCO. I'm Evan Onstock. Hello to you. I'm Jessica Shambach. We have live team coverage for you. We want to start with KOCO Zach Rael live in Oklahoma City this evening. And Zach, the governor easily winning the GOP nomination. Evan, Jess, that's right. And Governor Kevin Stitt addressing the crowd here at his watch party at the First National Center in downtown Oklahoma City. The celebration well underway. The crowd obviously fired up. And as you mentioned, Governor Kevin Stitt easily securing the Republican nomination to go on to the general election come November. This race was called within about 35 minutes after 7 p.m. That's when the official results we're starting it to be released now his win not a huge surprise here as we mentioned he was the clear front runner for this primary easily defeating his three Republican challengers with more than 68 percent of the vote so far now the governor addressing the crowd here at the first national he highlighted some of his accomplishments over the past four years said that he has kept good on his promises and especially the one at the beginning of his campaign four years ago to make and keep Oklahoma as a top 10 state. He talked about the unemployment rate right now, tax cuts, and protecting Oklahoma's freedoms. Now, here's a little of what the governor said just a short time ago. The turnaround is working, folks. The needle is moving in the right direction. Thank you so much for believing in this movement. Together, we have ended politics as usual. Zach Rael live for us tonight at Governor Kevin Stitt's watch party along with other Republicans and now taking a look at who he'll face off against Oklahoma State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister. He'll face off against her in November. Hoffmeister clinching the Democratic nomination for governor against Connie Johnson. KOCO's Kylie Thomas is live tonight at her watch party and Kylie Hoffmeister switched parties to run against Governor Stitt in this race. Yeah, that's right. The room erupted in cheers as she de she won that nomination for the Democratic nomination to go against Governor Stitt in the fall. And she pushed out her challenger and former state senator Connie Johnson in her, in her acceptance speech. She she thanked Connie Johnson for her continued public service to Oklahoma. Hoffmeister called this a four month sprint to November where she plans to outseat Governor Stitt with what she says are Oklahoma values. This is a day that I am truly humbled to say I am so proud to be the Democratic nominee for Governor of Oklahoma. <laughs> of work to do and it is a time where we get back to those Oklahoma values that you know Jerry and I raised our kids uh, around you know faith and family and hard work and getting things done. Now with about 95% of the precincts in Hoffmeister has secured her win with about 60% of the vote. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, Kylie Thomas, KOCO 5 News. Kylie, thanks so much. So again, here's the matchup in November, a matchup that many people expected. Governor Kevin Stitt and State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister, they have butted heads over COVID response. They've butted heads over school choice, and now they will take that fight to the people in November.